Do you know what today is? Well, it looks like you're ready for a party, Erica. What is today? It's Wednesday! Oh. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, friends. Welcome to our live YouTube streaming. And if you're watching on the replay, hello to you too. We are Catherine and Erica here in uh, Raleigh at Catherine Pooler Designs. And we are ready to share some patterned paper fun today. Your computer's making sound. Okay. How's everyone? Pop a comment in, let us know how you are. I see lots of our friends are popping in where they are from, Cincinnati and Chicago and Pittsburgh. Nice, awesome. We're so happy to see all of you. We are getting ready to come up on a holiday weekend here in the United States. I never can remember if it's Labor Day or Memorial Day. Labor Day. It's Labor Day. Yes. If I think about it for one sec, I can remember, but usually the wrong one comes out of my mouth, so I don't know the difference either. I mean, I know the difference in the two holidays, but not, no. Well, one of our friends said Memorial Day is in May. Oh, that's been really helpful to me, <laughs> so thank you for sharing that. <laughs> uh, we have a, a little special coming up in our shop this weekend, so if you're not on our newsletter yet, newsletter list, hop over to shop.katherinepooler.com, get on our email newsletter yes. list. We're going to be sending out details on that very soon, so you'll get to uh, shop with something extra special this weekend. So good. Including two new products. I only have one of them here. Oh. <laughs> what is what is wrong with me? I like Let's... this rubber band. It makes a fun noise. I think... Um... Making weird faces and being a little weird, so I'm gonna stop. No worries. What's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> I feel excited to be here. I love going live. I love being with our friends all Me around too. the world, and I don't know what you're doing, so I'm like, I'm, I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. Well, can I tell our friends what happened this morning, please? Because I think I started oh. off the day on a bad note. She came in, and I was like, "What's happening?" I was. I was a little, I was emotionally yourself. off this morning oh. for several reasons. <laughs> have you guys ever had a dream and you have an extreme feeling of emotion it's in visible. the dream and then you wake up and that is how you're feeling? Mm -hmm. That happened to me today and it wasn't good. And I, I feel bad, but then I'm going to out myself. It's fine. Because it was just a dream. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have... Uh, it seems that our AC froze up in one part of the building. In real and, life. In real life mm -hmm. and leaked and went all down the down the wall. And that's been a little issue this week. And that's what's been happening but at it's Panera. it's fine. It's been happening. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They had, it was raining on us when we were getting our drinks yeah. the other day. And I was so like. So that's probably where this dream is coming from. Probably. Although I'm going to throw, throw the staff under the bus, which. They are not like this at all. They are wonderful. So I don't know why I dreamed this, but I dreamed that um, water was just raining down from the ceiling tiles in the entire Catherine Polar Design space. Like a gully washer. Just pouring out of the ceiling everywhere. And I was running through the office yelling, grab your computers. I grabbed mine, I grabbed Hannah's ripped wires out of the back of her, you know, ripped them out of the wall, and I'm running through the office, and these guys were partying, running through the rain in the office like it was a party, and I was really angry about it, and then I woke up and I felt angry. I think I'm getting over it now because I was It's standing. hilarious. Has that ever happened to you? We were dancing and singing, singing in the rain. And I then do when you're building a massive Erica and Hannah later because I was so mad that no one took this seriously that we had to save the computers. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes. So I came in, I felt kind of off. I stubbed my toe on the refrigerator and cut it. Cut and I have to, I'm going around with no shoes today because I have a cut on my foot now. Um, but then you know what happened? I picked up this. Yeah. And I feel better now. Yeah. I've been in my stamp room. I've been in the stamp section of the office. Mm -hmm. and I've been stamping and I feel better. So does that happen to you guys too? Can I just say this color combo is making you happy. Yes. Check it out. Woo. I Can wore I my hear a woo. I wore my pumpkin spice shirt today. You sure did. In honor of this. 
<clears throat> and the pumpkin spice latte that I was going to drink but didn't get, but that was safe for another day. Tracy said that <laughs> my dream is a, is basically, I'm going to expand on what you said, Tracy. This is not really what she said. I'm expanding. I am, I'm jump boarding, springboarding off of what you said. That is a premonition that yes. I am going to a vacation spot that has waterfalls. I'm with you. Tracy, you and I, let's go. Oh, Monterey Bay, <laughs> California. Oh, I thought that was a suggested vacation site because that sounds nice. So our Harvest Festival patterned paper pack, Merlot, apricot, orange peel, eucalyptus, buttercream over coffee, and cargo ink. So if you didn't know, we list off the colors at the bottom that coordinate with our ink pads. I uh, pulled this color palette. I added a few extras. I added terracotta, sauna, spiced. Uh, I green think tea. Is, uh, green tea and butter. Oh no, buttercream no. is in there. So I, I just pulled in a couple more and, and what? It's so beautiful. It is. Do you have a favorite pattern in this pack? I do. Which one's yours? I, like I think it's a gingham. Uh-huh. This one's mine. Oh my gosh, do I always like the gingham? I don't know. <laughs> if there's a gingham, maybe. <laughs> That florals in here, I really, really like this white floral on the apricot as well. That is my jam. It is beautiful. You guys have loved this mm. pattern paper pack too. When we've sold out of it a couple times, we keep ordering more. We use a local printer in Raleigh for all of our pattern paper packs. So it's, it's printed locally for you and they are amazing. So when you guys go wild over a paper pack, it doesn't take us too terribly long to get more in stock. So that's really nice. But yep, uh, we love patterned paper, right? Because it feels so... It, our pattern paper is so... Oh, 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 what you got there, Catherine? <laughs> what you got there? This is our second pack of 12 by 12 patterned paper. But not uh -huh. our first pack isn't in the shop yet. It isn't. <laughs> so you guys have been asking for quite some time for 12 by 12 patterned paper. I think you guys love doing projects that are not cards. So scrapbook pages, uh, 3D items, boxes, mm -hmm. things like that. So now we have envelopes. two paper packs that stop the presses. <laughs> Why didn't I even think of envelopes? My mind is blown right now. This is amazing. <laughs> That's why we always say we okay. make something with something in mind, and then you guys or her or another whoever uh, thinks of something other, else. Yeah, other things you can do with it. So we took our six by six patterns, made them into a larger scale pattern, and we also added a couple patterns. So yes. there are some patterns in here that you do not have in here. And I'm gonna show you the different scale on some of them, let's see. the Cause our 12 by 12 <clears throat> pack has 12 patterns, two sheets of each, it's one sided. It's the same stock that we have in our regular six by six. It has a beautiful like is, feel to it. Uh, it's super smooth. So smooth. It is yummalicious. So here is the six by six, a smaller scale than these flowers here. Look at that. You guys, don't you just want to wallpaper something with this? Your whole house. <laughs> I support you. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. So this will be on sale this coming Friday along with the sale in our shop. And we also have a pack of Christmas paper that's coming out. So our, we have two pattern paper packs for Christmas that were wildly popular. So we took both of those packs and kind of merged them into one. And uh, so it's Cranberry Fizz and Deck the Halls. Ooh, this is a new pattern here. With Sandcastle. And, that. and uh, it's, what's our new, what is it called? It's, it's called hmm? Snowflakes and Spruce. Snowflakes and Spruce. And it was birthed from Garlands and Greenery and Through the, the Woods. woods. Yeah. Okay. And then there's this one. And you may have seen it. Um, and this is a new pattern. Out there in the abyss of stampy things, but it will be hitting our shop on Friday. Yeah. So if you head over to shop.catherinepooler.com and click new, hit that new button, you will see there's a little graphic there with the 12 by 12 coming soon paper. 
and you can sign up for email notifications. So as soon as it hits our shop on Friday morning, you will get an email letting you know that it is there. And then you will also get another email around the same time oh, mm, with the sale <laughs> details. That looks gorgeous. We are chuffed with this pack of paper. It is yummy. And in true CP style, we have the listing of the Hey Girl Hey. That's my favorite sentiment, Carissa. <laughs> I just laugh over that all the time. Oh, hey girl, hey. Glad to see ya. All right, so what do we do with this paper pack? We can make some cards. Yes. The thing that I love, if you are a card maker with 12 by 12, is that you can cut this up and get all of the strips and pieces that you would normally get, but you can get more. So if you're designing a card where you want to have multiples, um, maybe you're going to make a fall thank you gift card set for someone you love. Um, this will give you more pieces. So, yeah. and then again, there are also some additional patterns and the scale being slightly different. So there's lots of fun things. If you're a scrapbooker, if I want a layer for a card and I yeah. cut it four by five and a quarter yeah. out of a six by six, that's going to be fine. You're going to get one layer and then you're going to have a piece here and a piece here left over. But if you want to do multiple of these, you want to do a bunch, you would only be able to get three out of one patterned paper pack in the six by six. But if you have the 12 by 12, you can go five and a quarter, five and a quarter. You're going to have that. this mm. gorgeous strip left over. If you're a scrapbooker, this is going to be perfect on a scrapbook page. And then you're going to take, you can take your two and cut them at the same time and go four and four. And now I have layers for six cards out of one piece of six by six paper. Stop it. Yes. This scale was is bigger than the six by six pack, mainly for thoughts of scrapbooking and making boxes and things like that, but it's still going to work beautifully on cards. Yes. I mean... That's stunning for, uh, this scale is stunning for cards as well. So I let's make love some it. Cards. Let's make some cards. So you guys, you know, this is, we're trying it out, seeing what you guys <clears> think. <throat> this was a, a fan favorite pack, this mm -hmm. Harvest Festival 6x6 six six pack. And so we're excited to bring the Fall Fest 12x12. 12 12, and we're excited to see if you love it. We're excited. Let us know. Give us a thumbs up if you are feeling thrilled about what's happening. Yes. Make sure that you are following Catherine's channel. It helps us out. Share this video with other crafty friends. So I took the, the Give Thanks Sentiment stamp set, and I stamped a bunch of the sentiments on the circles. These are the double duty circle dies. I also die cut some patterned paper. I did this all from the 6x6. Six Literally, because I could not bring myself to cut that 12 by 12. Don't hoard it. But don't do what I Don't did. hoard it. Use don't it. be like me. Use it. It's beautiful. Yes. I can't wait for you so to get your hands on it and just stroke that paper because it's so smooth and beautiful. Do you, should mm. I go grab the yeah. holiday pack? Yes. Go okay. grab. Go grab. Go grab. Okay. So I stamped a bunch of these on circles. I stamped one here. And I stamped one here. So I have pieces and parts ready to go with sentiments. I have circles cut out. I have circles with patterns. I have a couple different ideas of what we're going to do with that. These guys, we're going to set them aside for the time being. And I wanted to show you my stamping of the fall fine stamp set. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. First, I'm going to show you. You guys know I love to use a sticky mat. I love to do a bunch of die cutting and stamping at once. And then I have these pieces and parts all ready to go for card making. These I just stamped. Uh, this one is apricot. This is orange peel. This is eucalyptus. This is Merlot. Just straight on one color. And then if you want to add some dimension and extra interest, you can also do... <clears throat> Ink with green tea, add a little bit onto the edge like that. 
And now I have a gorgeous two-toned oh, stamp. Yes, that's gorgeous. And it just really takes that up a level, just adds a lot of interest and dimension, and your image doesn't look so flat anymore. I mean, the flat images are good, too. I'm not saying they're, they're not. But if you want to add a little interest, you can take your leaf stamp, dab it on the edge of the pad. If you get some spots that look like a little bit of a harsh line, grab your ink blending brush and just give a really gentle pat. And that will help smooth out any lines and also give a little bit more of a blend, I know. That's so pretty. Beautiful. Let's do a couple more color combos. I have this new white mat, which I love, but then... It is easier have, to wipe down, though. It is very fair. easy. Yeah. But if I have ink along the edge of my pad, then it's getting my table messy. I'd love to see, like, apricot and orange peel. Let's do it. Just like a kiss of the apricot peeking out. Just a kiss, huh? Just a kiss. Just a kiss. Okay. Give that a little blend. Oh. oh, what about, what about orange peel and terracotta? Let's do it. Am I too close in? You can come out a little teeny bit, I think. We're still doing some very fun light experimentation. So let us know how the lighting is looking today, guys. And I don't know what's happening here, but we look crazy. <laughs> Our light shifted. Okay. It's weird. <gasps> Oh. oh my goodness. So, so pretty. Do you see how that just wow. adds such great dimension and interest? Give me another combo. How about terracotta and Merlot? Let's do it. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, I got another idea. Oh, and I'm really digging it. I'm excited. Color's my jam. This is... Yeah, it is. Okay. Definitely got some lines there, so let's buff that a bit. Mm. Soften it up. Mm. Oh. So pretty. I'm gonna do this little guy. Give me another color combo. How about spiced in sauna? Oh, love it. Uh oh, I'm getting ink everywhere. You know, let me put my lids on on the paper. Towel. Okay, that will help. I'll be happier then. Did you get in there with a little? Is that happening? Oh, I'm noticing some things that Catherine may have prepared. Oh, this one's this <laughs> one's gonna be awesome. Are you okay, ready? okay. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh, that might be my favorite. Yeah. I love you again. The spice is really uh it's a neutral. Yeah. It's brown, but it has a real a spicy orangey undertone. Tone. And mm -hmm. here with the sauna, it, it really does look wow. even more brown. Yes. Oh, that is gorgeous. And it really feels like a fall leaf that's changing. Um, we had that blog <clears throat> post, did it go yesterday or today? Yesterday. Okay, with uh, guest designer Tiffany's cards. And I loved how she had apparently just stamped out loads of leaves. And then she made like a pile of leaves. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, how fun just to stamp tons of them out. Because in nature you end up with just lots of different colored leaves that are on the ground. And like, you could just totally play like Catherine's doing and end up with lots and lots and lots of different little leaves. And then see how you want to incorporate them onto your card. See how I have a harsh line between there? That's uh, where the blender brush comes in handy. And yeah, Tiffany is my inspiration for my cards today. So thank you so much, Tiffany. Nice. So, uh so cute. You guys, Merlot, someone's asking for Cranberry Fizz. Merlot is sort of like the cousin of Cranberry Fizz. Well, it's darker. But mm -hmm. let's try, try an, uh, a spiced in Merlot. Do it. This stamp set is Fall Finds. It was new in our shop earlier this month. You guys sold us out of this, but we have restocked. Um, so as far as I know, we mm -hmm. have, yeah, we have restock of it. If you missed it, oh. didn't get it yet. Check your face. <laughs> okay. This is, this was not in the plan at all, but I have to quickly do this. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's 
stunning. And that uh, Merlot will dry back and um, it's just gorgeous. Mm. Ooh. I mean, we amaze ourselves on a daily basis here at Catherine Puller Designs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Gorgeous. Okay. Oh, oh no, friend. Okay. If you have to go, you can watch the replay to catch the rest of the video. It will be here for you later. Yes. No worries. Uh, now. Ooh. I'm just digging that kind of rustic, woodsy, dark kind of situation. Oh. Mm -hmm. This this was not the plan for today. Right. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get back on track in a sec. Sometimes you just got to go for it when something is working out. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, I love it that you just kind of got on a little roll there. Okay. Like, yeah. You know what it needs? <laughs> oh, like the skinniest strip of pattern paint. Yes. I was thinking oh. like a skinny strip, but, or a big mama. I could do that. What if it was like, <gasps> oh, what if I, what if, <laughs> what if I do both? Could do a smaller. See, okay, this was not in the plan, <laughs> but. Are you guys okay? Would it, with us just. I, Going I mean, rogue with Catherine going rogue here on it. My plan was to make cards with pattern paper, so that is what yes. is happening. It is not what my plan was in my I, head. But, I'm not um, gonna lie. I really like the big one, and I like if you cut this white layer down a little, so that the big one kind of goes off a little. That. And I also have a new rule that I've adopted. Oh, if my card gets share. bigger than a traditional size, I say just make your card bigger. <laughs> Because uh, we've made a few new. cards where pieces kind of go off the trigger, yeah. the, like the A2. Well, now, and you, now you can make your own yeah. envelope. So just make it whatever size that makes you happy and trust. You can find envelopes online <laughs> if you need If you need to mail it. They make bigger envelopes. You know what? I think that's going to have to be a... Oh, how did this get to be smaller? Uh, how about another striped piece? Sure. I cut this too small. Um... Do we want to try the larger sure. scale 12 by 12? Let's try the 12 by 12. Here you go. We got a big stripe coming in. Um, I think that is going to have to be a future video. How to make envelopes with the 12 by 12 paper. Nice. How about it? You know how to do those things because you're so smart. That's very sweet of you to say. I want... Catherine's been around the block a couple of times with her. <laughs> Her crafty making, so she picked up a few skills. She kind of has a knack for this guy. <laughs> one or two. <laughs> one or two skills here and there. I'm, like, I annoyingly guess. putting this back where it belongs. Okay. So the goal of this video is yeah. to make cards with pattern paper. Yes. That's what we're doing. Okay, so we're cutting this down. Yeah. A little bit? A little bit. A little bit. Because I really like that big circle just kind of going off the edge. Mm-hmm. Share them that side too. The top. Is it too big for yeah. the card? Yeah. Too big. Yeah. There you go. Oh, hold the hold the presses. Hold the presses. Oh, yes. But do masks. Oh. What? Ooh. Do what? <laughs> You're getting very excited. What are we doing? I feel like it splattered this side, but like maybe mask that side off. Do you need scrap paper? Yes. Do you have a piece of scrap paper? Uh, here you go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> What's this going to do? That, that will work. I'll find you something different. <laughs> so, this is hilarious. I was like, oh, what are you coming up for? <laughs> I was thinking a big piece to, like, protect my beautiful white mat. What? Oh, and you were thinking this to mask off the rest of the cards so yeah. splatters don't get all over it. That's hilarious. I was like, what am I going to do with this? Now I got you. I got you. We can't use this piece because we stamped something new on it. She wants me to go like this. Okay. Here you go. And I need this. Perfect. <laughs> we are cooking with gas. You guys, I just work here. I don't know. <laughs> You're not in my brain? Oh, 
boy. All right. Do we want small little flicky flecks? Mm -hmm. Small flicky flicks. Okay. Okay. They're they're here for the freestyling. <laughs> I mean, you guys don't know what cards were in my head that I was going to make, so it really doesn't matter, right? I'm just, the goal here is to make cards with patterned paper. Yes. So my goal, it was using all of those die. Oh, oh, I haven't even shown you, have I? Well, <laughs> this was the goal. We'll get back to that. We're coming back. Yeah. But let's just take a minute to look at all to gaze upon it. these gorgeous pieces. Oh my goodness. So these all were done with the ink colors that I had on my table. So green tea and eucalyptus, sauna and probably orange peel, apricot and orange peel. We've got some terracotta and merlot. And just in case you're wondering, because of the nature of this color combo being kind of analogous, you can't really go wrong. So if you pair up two that are a little bit further away from each other on the color wheel, they're still gonna look really pretty. So it just may not look as organic. So if they're next to each other or near each other on the color wheel, it's gonna look a bit more organic. Does that make sense? Yeah. But if you don't care about that, you know. <clears throat> it's whatever makes you happy is I pleasing. The Shimmery Set, that is the Gonze Tombi Starry Colors, Metallic Watercolors. Stacy, it's delish. Mm -hmm. It is a must-have for your craft of space. Um, it is an array of golds, and there's a white gold, which is basically silver, and they are delish. And they have undertones, so like one has red, yellow, uh, blue, so depending on what you're doing, you can go with the same undertone, or you can look complimentary. I think it's time to clean my scissors. <laughs> oh, also disclaimer, yeah. I am between nail salon visits. <laughs> so, it's well, you know what? Some of our friends might be looking at my nails going, Catherine. They're so offended. I need to talk to you right yeah. now. <laughs> oh, yes. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we were saying the big one? Yeah. Off. It's not going to go off now, though. What do you mean? Well, I was thinking we cut this down so it went off a smidge, like that kind of thing, but then it's covering up too much. So I don't know. What, what were you going to cut down? I'm we could confused. just cut the circle. That's what I thought you meant. You meant something different. I meant cut the paper panel. Mm. No, it looks good. It looks good. Okay, and then what I do? Yeah, just cut this. Well, you got to pick a circle that yes. if you cut it, you still have room. That. Uh. That's different. That's, oh, I like that. Do you like that? Is that cargo? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm doing that. It's cute. I have forgotten all about how angry I was at everyone this morning. <laughs> That's good. If someone's just tuning in, they're going to be so confused. <laughs> I had a bad dream. I had a bad dream. We didn't and actually I was make angry. her angry. Yeah. No. Because we're lovely. <laughs> yeah. She's a lovely staff. <laughs> okay. And then a little piece here, a little piece here, a little piece there. Do all the pieces. Isn't all card making freestyling? Carissa, is it? <laughs> Don't you sometimes plan what you're going to do? <laughs> I always try and plan and when I do try to freestyle it usually makes me feel stressed out somewhere in the middle because I'm like wait where is this going boom um will the two pa uh, pads of 12 by 12 be sold separately or yes. as a set it will be sold separately yes. yes if you picked up the um snowflakes and spruce already sparkles.com you We'll be able to just grab that fall fest, or maybe we need a second pack. Who knows? I got excited about one of the holiday cards that came our way from one of our designers. Yes. She did this really cool technique where she took her scoring blade. Oh, you know what? I think she went from the other way because the that it made a dip. dip. I want it the other way. I want it to bump up. <clears throat> 
So I thought that was a really cool detail to add to your card. I've seen it before, but I hadn't thought about it in a long time. So let me do uh, eighth of an inch apart. Yes. Yeah. So yes, we are going to show you that other pack of 12, 12 by 12 in a few minutes here. Um, those oh. are the tonic Tim Holtz scissors, and we do sell them in our shop. Yes. I, I don't know if they're in stock right now. I think we have some in stock. Be. Yeah. So line it up on the five and then score, score, score. Pretty. Oh yeah. I like that That's a lot. That's real nice. Then, oh, I just thought of something cool. Okay. Hold on. This is four and a quarter, almost just a little bit too big, four and a quarter. I'm going to just trim right under the score lines here and then card base. Where'd my card bases go that I had already cut the stack of the oh, ones golly. that I cut the, yeah, where'd they go? Hard to say. There's a lot going on here. Here? Here? No? Um, that I cut out of the floral paper. Oh. At the very beginning, I caught it. Oh, here they are. I got them. Okay. Um, Michelle, yes, the 12 by 12 is the same stock that we print our six by six on. So it has the same texture, same finish, um, same weight. Yes. It's 80 pound. Okay. 80. So this is going to be cut at just under one and a quarter. So it'll just be a little strip at the top with the um, so little frame. Yeah, a little frame. Pretty. Okay. So that'll go on there. This is going to go on the bottom. Yay! Glad you're excited for the new 12 by 12, guys. Definitely thrilled to see what you think. After you get it in your hands, let us know if you'd like to see any more of it. Concentrating. Yeah, it's just like a surgeon. Okay, so this scissors. is going to go here <laughs> like that. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to add on some of these guys. So I told you my inspiration was Tiffany. Yes. One thing that I absolutely loved that she did was she took a white gel pen. We have the Reminis white gel pen in the shop. We have them single. And we also have them in a pack with some metallics. And we also have, I have them here. Here we go. So here's the one with the pack. You can get it single or you can get it with this. I think this would be nice because then you could do some gold accenting too. And then we also have the Posca, Posca, Posca uh, white <laughs> paint pen. So Looks you can like use either of those. And then, so she just used her white pen to add some detail to some of the leaves, which I thought was really fun. Oh, uh, let's see. Mm, oh yeah, I already did this one. So maybe a few dots, a couple extra lines. It just adds a lot of dimension and like a pop to your card or to your image, which is nice. And if you head over to the blog, you can see her cards there and see how she added all that great dimension. See how it looks there on the Merlot, you can see it a little bit better. Isn't that fun? Oh, so cute. And you could even beef up your lines on that one. Yeah, I stamped this one a couple times, and so that's why the lines kind of disappeared a little bit. But you can fix that. Mm -hmm. 
on some little polka dots. I love the dots. I think that's really cute. That is nice. So you can do that to your heart's content. Yeah, the gold glitter pin would also be really pretty as accents on these. Um, and again, these little pointers from today are great for just taking your craft effectively up a notch. So you can stamp them straight, one color, and make a card like this, and it's going to be outstanding. Mm -hmm. You can take it up a notch by using two colors on your stamp, or three. Um, and you can take it up another notch by embellishing it a little bit with um, the gel pens. So these are just ways you can up your craft a game. Definitely need a little... So cute. And I like because you have that flap, you can kind of tuck some leaves down underneath. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks cute. Oh, okay. that looks nice. Let's do a little assembly. You guys, these acorns. <laughs> acorns, they're so cute. What about some sequins? Do you need some of those? Mm -hmm. So, maybe some copper ones. Okay. So, I would say Oak City might be nice. Um. Oak City? <laughs> Oak City with your leaves. I mean, come on. Just got under there a little bit too far. Let's pull them out. Okay. And that's our Raleigh mix because we live in the Oak City. Yeah, we do. We're the city of Oaks. Mm. Both. We are having a sale this weekend and our, well, we have a promotion this weekend and that'll be coming across to you. Yes. Get your wish list ready. If you didn't get to pick this Fall Finds stamp set or the Harvest Festival pattern paper up when it first hit our shop, um, it is restocked and you will be able to grab those things. You can get them today. You can wait and get them this weekend. You can get them next week. Whatever. It's in there for you. It's in there for you. Hmm. So many great How do you feel about choices those? here. I love them. Yeah. I love them. Perfect. 100. 100%. The 12 by 12 will also go in the shop on Friday morning. Yes. I love this guy. Oh, that's cute. You are a blessing. So. Two cards. Those are gorgeous. Thank you. Do we need one more? We could. You have another one in mind? Kind of. Let's do it. I need a little help. Okay. So I have all these circles. Yeah. And I was kind of thinking you could go. Oh, that's fun. Because I love pattern mixing. Yeah. And with our pattern paper packs, our illustrators already did the hard work for you of choosing which patterns go together and scales and things like that. Well, us and our illustrators. Yeah. Um, and so then just piecing them in place is, you know, cutting and piecing and you can mix and match, use them together, use them apart. So it's kind of thinking something like this might be fun. And then add on a few leaves. Cute. Feeling grateful. I like to make a spotty that card. Guy. Little overlapping polka dots. Something like this. Yeah. Let's do it. That's really cute. I also had another thought. Okay. It's, it's a little half-baked, so let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to go diagonal with this bright paper. Oh, that's fun. Then you could do something like this. A scallop pattern? Yeah. Kind of like quilted. I like that I liked how you pieced it together like a circle. You liked when I did that? Yeah, that was kind of fun. Maybe I would do like that and then cut off edges. I don't know. So that's another idea. Just kind of playing with ideas. So hopefully this sparks something for you. I think for this card I would like to. Just kind of 
good design. I was digging that. Yeah. For the other one, I might just go with like a smaller circle. For the half circles, so you can fit more across mm -hmm, the pattern. Mm -hmm. But I was digging where you were going. But this is fun. I like layered. And then I like when you kind of overlap them a little. Like maybe pop a couple of them up. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Give it some dimension. Okay. And then I just cut all these, but I can use them. I can still use them. Yeah, if you guys do any quilting, sometimes you can translate quilt patterns. And with your shape dies that you have, you can cut different pieces out. And um, it's a lot of fun. And then do something like that. Cute. I love that. That's fun. Okay. That's glue. Yeah, that we have hexagon dies that will work great for that type of piecing as well. Or you could take like a square die and then cut the squares into triangles like you do with quilting and mm -hmm. use them in different ways. So do we have any quilters on here? I don't know. Pop a comment if you are a quilter. I've made a few quilts in my day. Me too. Okay. And do you guys have a favorite pattern? Did we already discuss that? You okay. and I said. I don't know if they said. Oh, I think this needs to go on the edge there. Tracy does some quilting. And I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we'll trim off all of the excess here. So we have a pair of scissors, bum bum, boom boom, da da da, bada boom bada bing, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Chris has done some quilting, yeah. I just sometimes will Google the patterns and like see if I can find inspiration for yeah designs. Yeah. Shirley's a quilter. Yeah, we've got quilting friends here. Love it. Excellent. Oh, I think this is going to look really cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Another one. I forgot to things. pop some up. You did, but it's okay. We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> Unless you want to stick some, like, somewhere in the middle. It's fine. Let's pop this guy up. <laughs> As per usual, I have a smudge on here trying to kind of figure out we can cover that with the what I'm going to do there. Yeah. <laughs> sequins or some of these leaves will be good to go. <laughs> also, yeah. while I'm doing this, do you want to show some of those cards with different ways to use patterned paper? Sure. Some of them are just little tiny bits and some are, are bigger. Okay. So this one's by Nancy. And she did a beautiful frame border around the edges and then a beautiful frame border. Huh? I did a beautiful frame border. Around you that. made this? <laughs> you made this? I did. Okay. Catherine made this. Nancy made a similar card, I think. Did Anyways. <laughs> and then popped up one of the lattes from the, uh, uh, oh gosh. Paul I know, calls for I'm lattes. Sorry, you, fest. you guys, did I make this card? Yeah. I think I made it on the Stamp Nation. Maybe. Little pop pattern paper. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> this one's my Christy. <laughs> Catherine didn't make this. Little mini, and speaking of hexes, there's a little hexagon die that she used there on, make that little, um, little bitty shaker. She used Dublin sequins in there. This is the fall, uh, or Harvest Festival pattern paper. She used her crisscross applesauce as with embossing, um, a sandwich in her die cutting machine. So instead of it cutting it all out, she just got a print on there and the all in one thank you die. Adorable. This is another one from Christy. This is classy. 
just yeah. popped up one of the sentiments and one of the leaves from the um, Fall Fine stamp set. And then the rest is just, actually, did this sentiment come from? I don't know where that sentiment, was that in Fall Fine's? Or a different stamp set? I, I think, think that's it a is different in, stamp set. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, no, it's right there. It is in Fall Fine. Duh. And this die was from Ex Libris. Ex Libris dies, I want to say. Yes. Here is a beaut. Did you make this one before I credit someone else? I did. Okay, I think I'm the same vibe as the other one. <laughs> Catherine made this one. I love how she did the cutout circles with the, um, I want to say that you used the uh, double duty, uh, yes, circle dies, and then able to leave that little gap so you could see the pattern paper peeking through. And again, used the Fall Calls for Lattes stamp set. And then this one's really simple. This is a Christy. And this is using the Pi Day stamp set and some of the pumpkin spice and everything nice patterned paper at the bottom. Just a little pop, a little dab will do you sometimes. So like these two just use such a small mm -hmm. little pop, but it adds really nice texture, interest, and pattern to the card. Wonderful. You're welcome. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I might have given Nancy credit for this card somewhere else. She, I'm gonna have to look later. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, she's probably like, I didn't make that. That's all right. Don't worry, uh, guys, we will show you the snowflakes in Spurs 12 by 12 here right. at the end. We're just going to finish this card up first, and then we can recap. Okay. And if you are just joining in and you missed the beginning, um, as soon as we wrap up, you'll be able to pop back and see all of the goodies that we shared at the beginning of the live. Yep, and here are the three cards. Almost done here. Do a little acorn. And then card base. I think this needs to be apricot ink blending. Oh, my, my it's here. Paper girl? Okay. Thank you. Let's do a little quick ink swiping to make a base that is apricot for this gorgeous card. So, guys, when you oh, purchase. Yeah anything from any of our collections. We always put up loads of inspiration. We send out emails, we do blog posts, we have stuff in Pinterest, on Catherine's Instagram, and in the Facebook page. So no matter where you like to peruse for inspiration, we've got you covered um, with cards that can get your creative mojo going. Whoops, we're, we're sticky with all this tape here. And definitely follow our brand ambassadors as well so that you can see what they make with our gorgeous goodies. I love it. Can we have a favorite? Are we allowed to have favorites? Okay, so this was the first one, mm -hmm, the second mm -hmm. one, and the third one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Pop in the comment, let us know which, your fa which one is your favorite. I will add some sequins while you guys are voting, and then we will show you the holiday 12 by 12 paper as well. Okay. And I want to do a lot of sequins here. Um, sequins, sequins, sequins. Where'd my jewel picker go? Here it is. Oh, you want to get one of these away? All right, we will pick, um, how do you want to pick? Well, they just need to say their favorite one, two, or three, and then you can just pick a random okay. commenter and we'll send them that card. All right, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> there. So random commenter from the live chat for today, I think. Okay. Should we do one from the uh, after party too? Yes, yeah, so... Leave a comment in the live chat if you're here live with which one your favorite is, and then leave a comment below in the comment section under the YouTube video once we are done being live, and we will choose one person from there as well to send one of these cards. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with that because I really am wild about these <laughs> cards, but I will give it up and I will send two of you. This is my favorite. 
That's your favorite? Uh-huh. I don't know if I have a favorite. I love They're gorgeous. these. They're really gorgeous. They came out great, and I actually have more ideas, but it is time to show you the holiday <laughs> paper and wrap it up. Okay. So here we have the snow flakes and spruce. Da da da! Yum. You guys. That's this is gorgeous. all the rustic holiday vibes. Again, 12 patterns, just two sheets of each in the pack. Got six that have the cranberry fizz as the main color, and six that have the depth of halls as the main color. Look at that giant mm, stripe. That is nice. That would be fun for a box, a gift box. Mm hmm. Beautiful. We almost got them in the frame. <laughs> Okay, so those are coming to the shop on Friday, uh, along with the Fall Harvest Fest, Fall Fest, Fall Fest paper. There'll be a promotion this weekend, so you don't want to miss that. And we thank you for hanging out with us. You tell me a number. Um, three. Jane Lau. Jane. Jane Lau. Lau. You're getting that. <laughs> Yay, Jane! So email support at katherinepooler.com and tell her that you won the Feeling Grateful card. And we'll give it up to you later. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us today, friends. This was so fun. I got my creative juices going. Yeah. I got my mind off of being angry about the non-rescuing of the computers. <laughs> which was a dream. It did not happen. I feel much better. How about at least we do not have Raise the Lord because that sounded bad. It sounded very <laughs> yeah. bad. So, all right. Thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It helps YouTube know that you like what we do here, and then they uh, share us more with other people, and we appreciate that. Hope you are going to have a great weekend, and we will see you soon. Tracy, are we live Friday? We're not sure. We probably will pop on live real quick um, on Facebook, but we don't have a full plan yet. Yeah. All right. We'll see ya. We'll see ya.